the thing that I am a little bit interested in here, and I got my Texas antennas percolating a little bit, mm-hmm. is you have coin ewers in your top tier. So if we're going to use the same, because I'm going to like put you in a pretzel here for a minute, but if we're going to use the same thought process of tiers from the Big Ten, which is, you know, guys who like, you know, switch their teams or whatever, and, you know, who's a great quarterback, mm-hmm. is this you saying that Texas has a great quarterback? <laughs> and if so, how are you so vehemently against the notion that they could win enough games to make the playoff this year? Uh, I'm not against the notion. I just think they're gonna they're gonna cough up a dumb game at one point. This, my issue with Texas, I'm with an Ari. I'm with you on paper. I'm with you. I think Texas makes a ton of sense in the playoff on paper. I just don't trust them. I think they but have I a think, bad. I think they show up and they get down seventeen nothing to like some stupid team at an eleven a.m. kick, and then they just like can't get their dig their way out of the hole, and then that's that's it. Like I, that's that's what I think. Dave, Texas here's is. the difference though. When's the last time that Texas had a bona fide year one quarterback? No doubt about it. It's a good question. So if you have Quinn Ewers as a tier one quarterback, don't the circumstances of this year's team seem different? Like if you are bought into this, like because I when I looked at your list, I was anticipating seeing Quinn Ewers in the second tier. And I think there is a certain thought process from a large portion of fans out there that think that he is an entitled brat who left high school early, went to Ohio State, couldn't hack it there, transferred mm-hmm. back home, and isn't very good. And I think that that notion is completely and utterly wrong. I think people saw last year some of the bad and aren't seeing the good. I see a player that could be a top three quarterback in America this year. Um, yeah. All right, so by for the way, you Texas to put him in. Are, I'm going to yell at you for getting, Sam, for, for getting Sam Ellinger. Do you think he's a tier one guy? In the Big 12, sure. I mean, he was okay. a really, 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 really good college quarterback. All right, I don't he's know a tier he... one Big 12 quarterback. Maybe not nationally, yeah. but come on Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Come okay, all right. How, what, <laughs> so, yeah, you forgot him too. So let's not, let's, you know, <laughs> let's enough. not just bump that on me. But I'm just saying, like, if Quinn Ewers is a top 15 draft pick and he's that type of tier one, mm-hmm. like, and I know Ellinger started games in the NFL. I'm not disparaging him. But if he is, if he's that dude, that is an entirely different proposition for that team this year. I don't, just, know that I don't know if he's that dude as much as a tier one Big 12 quarterback. There's the, the, on this list, like the, this, the Big 12 list is very interesting because I don't see a ton of guys on this list that I'm like, oh, they got a lot of upside. He probably has the most upside, but he's already shown like a lot. Like I don't see a lot of guys that I'm like, oh, he's going to go from like a nobody to like blowing up. I'm not sure there's anybody on this list unless you want to make a case. Well, it's not up. like the Big 10 too in terms of yes. like crazy – Yes, you know, musical chairs, quarterbacks, mm-hmm. either. Like, it's like we kind of have an idea of who these people are and how they look in the uniforms that they're playing. In. Yeah, I, I think at the end of the day, Quinn Ewers, I think I, I think he can be a top 15, 20 quarterback in the country this year, maybe higher. So, top like, five, maybe, uh, no, not top five. I don't see that this year. I think he can get there. I don't think he does that this year. I think there's a legitimate chance that he is a first round pick in April. I That's agree. a different question, though, Ari. You're talking about Manny. Teams. Help me out here. No, I, I'm with <laughs> Ari. First of all, he's the only five star quarterback in the conference. Like he's yeah. we're going back to stars and talent. Like there really just isn't a lot in, in terms of the the Big Twelve. You go up and down the recruiting rankings of all these guys and and how much hype they had coming out. Uh, he is the only one. Um, so w- whereas in the Big Ten, you've got JJ McCarthy who was a five star, and mm-hmm. obviously Kyle McCord and others that w- that were five star. Drew Aller. Uh, so to me, from a talent perspective, like putting him at the top of the list in tier one makes complete and total sense. And he's got the kind of team that can that can win the conference around him. So I'm, I'm with Ari. I'm buying the Queen Ewer stock. I think part of this is, you know, Oklahoma doesn't have I mean, Dylan Gabriel's good. Right. But he's not your typical Oklahoma Heisman quarterback, uh, no. con, you know, contender. Um, and, and really, Jalen Daniels, when, you, when you're putting Kansas's quarterback in the top three and nothing against. Jalen Daniels I think he's a, he's a talent but like Kansas shouldn't have the third best quarterback in the league in the Big 12 but that's that's kind of what you have that's just the situation um because of of you know departures transfers etc and and so I think uh I think without question Quinn Ewers is the best QB going into the season I don't know I'm very intrigued to see what what Jalen Daniels has for this upcoming year can he is the guy that made the most wow plays last year like yeah. I, I talk about like when I fill out my Heisman ballot, um, one of the things that I do factor in is like 
who just like made my drop my jaw drop the most. And last year, Bijan was up there. Like I think I think I've I voted him third. Yeah, I had Caleb one, Hendon Hooker two, and and Bijan third. And part of the reason was because like I don't really care like about the win loss stuff. Like Bijan was unbelievable last year. Like the dude, this people could not get him down. And like so, Jalen Daniels to me, like you have a lot of those wow plays. Like Quinn, I'm, I'm still waiting for it. Like I think he can get there. He's gonna have a ton of receivers. He's gonna have a ton of guys around him and all that stuff. And I think the line play should be better. Um, but like to take that next leap of like this is the guy that's gonna be if you win the Big Twelve and you get to the playoff, he's the guy that drove you there. He might get there this year, but he might still be a year away. Well, here's the thing too of just like the notion of quarterbacks and their readiness. It doesn't take three years to be really good in college. You know, it's like, yo, he might get there this year. It's like, if he doesn't, he's not getting there. Like, this is year two of starting. So he, has to go, he has to go into the stratosphere this year for you? I just feel like if he's going to be that guy who's a top 15 pick in the NFL draft, we're going to know it this year. What is this idea where we have to wait till year three or four of someone's career to know if they're going to be great? But the greatest I, players way, at the position we know really immediately. Good, but I think, is he going to have that 4,000 yards? Drake May last year didn't need three years. I know the guys but the already the number one pick in the draft in my opinion. I, I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna see that necessarily. If you don't think we're gonna see that this year, then you need to drop him off of your tier one. In my opinion, <laughs> like I, I honestly, like I, I that's what I expect from him. With the offensive tools, JT Sanders, I mean Xavier Worthy, AD Mitchell, people, this offensive I need line. To see like, more from AD he, Mitchell. AD Mitchell's got to get through a season where he. I think that you. He's like your temperament when it comes to Texas this year. <laughs> makes me want to take my house deed and put it on playoff. Because I think that like this idea of Texas stinks and their Texas is like actually creating great value for a team that's legitimately what awesome. what is the what is Ari, what are the playoff odds for Texas right now? Is it like plus like two hundred? What is it? Uh I have them to win the national title this year. <laughs> because right. I think that's Sorry, a good right. that opportunity. Was, that was a lead. that was a that was a genuine response. But like but seriously what is their what are their playoff what are their odds their the national playoff? championship is nineteen to one. Okay, and that's, hold that's on, let me pull. Good, that's pretty good. Nine, value, Nineteen say. is pretty good value for a team that might be underdogs in only one game this year. Uh, if they win the national a road game in Alabama, if they win the national championship, do we get an SEC chant at the national championship game? I don't know. Um, that's my but question. Quinn Ewers is also like one of the top three Heisman odds too. So, like there Cam, is this. Cam notion. says plus three twenty five on the playoff odds for Texas. That's so pretty you think they're going to win the Big 12 because they're minus 125, uh, minus 125 to win the Big 12. They're the favorite. Ari, last year's Big 12 champion didn't make the playoffs. <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> it's going to be difficult because they have a road game in Alabama early in the season. Which I think they'll win. So I don't want to hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, like, if they win that game, they're going to be favored in every game for the rest of the year. I know. And that's how, that's when Texas is at its worst. We see Okay, this. this can't be a Texas discussion. All I'm saying is. <laughs> You put them in your tier one button. I think it's time to come around. And if you don't, me and Manny will uh, will be at the parade, and you're not allowed to come. Sometimes tier one quarterbacks <laughs> throw three picks and lose games at Iowa State. I'm it telling happens. you this right now. You're going to be somebody who's on our Saturday night show a lot this year. <laughs> We're going to be co-hosting a lot of shows in this channel. Yes, sir. If and when Texas is awesome this year, and you're on this show, I think you're not gonna participating be awesome. in the fun. Ari, they're gonna be awesome. <laughs> they're gonna be okay. awesome, and then they're gonna lose to someone stupid. Okay. That's what's gonna. I'm happen. saying, if we're talking about Texas as a national championship contender in Week Five, you better check your enthusiasm at the door. I will stand there and I'll put my hand on your chest. I will. I'll put my hand on your chest. <laughs> You're not allowed at the club, Dave. <laughs> You're not allowed at the parade this year. Oh, uh, man. Okay. <laughs>